Unpacking and checking. Unpack the box and take out the bracket, the accessory box and the inverter. Appearance inspection. 1. To check if there are any scratches. 2. To see if the buttons touch well. 3. To check if the terminals are loose. Please also check if there is anything missing in the accessory box. Taking the wall-mounted bracket as a template, please drill 7 installing holes of 10mm in diameter and 80mm in depth with 10mm drill. Fix the bracket on the wall with the expansion screws. The height of inverter depends on user's convenience to read data. Place the inverter on the wall-mounted bracket as illustrated arrows. Please check if the hook is assembled in place. Install the anti-theft bracket as illustrated and choose a proper lock if necessary. Please check AC grid voltage is in normal range with multimeter. Use cables with red, black and yellow green color with external diameter of 12 mm to 25 mm. Sectional area of max 6 square meters. Strip bare wire of 10 mm length with wire stripper as needed. Take out AC terminal and separate into two parts. Insert wire into the end of AC terminal. Insert line wire to pin 1, neutral wire to pin 2, and ground wire to pin with earthing mark. After fastening all screws, reassemble the female connector. Connect the female connector to the male connector on the inverter. Measure VOC of photovoltaic strain with a multimeter to make sure max dot VOC of each photovoltaic strain is lower than max input voltage of the inverter. Firstly, strip off the cable conductor with decrustation pliers in 7 mm. Then press down the copper core on the exposed cable conductor with crimping pliers. Secondly, connect the red cable conductor with copper core into positive DC terminal. There will be a click sound when it inserts if the cable conductor is absolutely connected and well fixed. Thirdly, connect the black cable conductor pressed down the copper core into negative DC terminal. Finally, insert positive DC terminal and negative DC terminal into input terminal positive pole and negative pole of the inverter respectively. There will be a click sound when it is definitely connected and fixed. Screw off the RS-485 cover. Compress the crystal head and insert it into corresponding interface and let the wire pass through the waterproof of RS-485 cover. The other end of crystal head connect with Easy Luger and each Easy Luger can support up to 50 inverters. Turn on DC switch after the whole circuit connected 